It won't be for long. Just long enough for them to find out what's going on. Please don't leave me here. Just for a couple of days. You'll see. Time will go by fast. Susan, we need to go. There's no reason to drag this out. Be brave, darling. You're strong. I know you're strong. Here we have a better chance of understanding what's happening. We can find a way to protect you. Nobody can protect me. Your belongings are in that bag over there. Cole and I are right next door. If you need anything or if anything's wrong, just call and we'll come right away. Okay? Somewhere to change. Hope they haven't put cameras in here, too. Off to bed now, Jody. I'm gonna turn off the light now. Good night, Jody. Wait! Can you leave the light on in the hall? 
I don't like it when it's dark. Sure. How's that? Good. Good night. Night. Don't be afraid, Aiden. We're gonna have a good night's sleep and nothing is gonna happen. I can't sleep, Aiden. I think I need a story. I said no. End of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are going, and I won't be late. I promise, okay? You're wasting your breath, Jody. It's just not fair. How come everyone can go and I can't? I do everything you ask of me all week, and I never get to have any fun. For the hundredth time, you're not like everyone else, and there are rules. Well, I didn't ask to be different. I just want to go out and, and have friends and be like other girls my age. You'll never be like them. You need to get used to that. Good night. Ah! I'll be next door. Let me know if you need anything. No swearing, okay, Jody? It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. I hate you. 
hate you, Cole. And I hate Nathan. And I hate everyone in this rotten fucking place. I know you don't mean it, Jody. Nathan just wants to protect you, that's all. break everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but you understand, right? I just, I need to go out tonight. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Locked. Of course it is. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. Bit late for day trip, isn't it? Well, it was Nathan's idea. Some kind of like night training in the D wing. I mean, as if my days weren't enough for his experiments. <laughs> it's funny, because, uh, you know, I just spoke to Professor Dawkins and. Uh... Oh, well, he, yeah, he just called myself. And, uh. Um... I, I don't know, it's just like a sudden flash of uh, genius or something, and so, um, yeah, he wants me to do this new experiment, but I don't know really. Well, you know them scientists, they never stop. <laughs> but 
What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? Cole, we, we should probably get going now. Good night. He, he doesn't feel too much like talking today. Uh, I think his, um, his grandmother died or something. He, uh, he's in a really bad mood. I, he hasn't even said a word all day. Hold up there. What's wrong with you, Cole? Cole! Huh? What happened? Jesus Christ, what the hell was that all about? I think I know exactly what this was all about. I told you not to go, and you disobeyed me. You know how dangerous that was for Cole and for you? Hell, Jody, don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? Go out and be like everyone else for once. 